Hey, everybody. Welcome to the Kame House Party. I'm Aaron. And I'm Vince. It's a funny, funny podcast where we talk about Dragon Ball while trying to watch every episode of Dragon Ball, and then we make yucks and jokes. It's true. Yes. It's so true, and it's so much fun. I will testify in a court of law. Ooh. That this is what this podcast is about. In the court of Judge Joe Brown. <laughs> He's no nonsense. <laughs> <laughs> now, Marlene, what you're telling me is he stole your car and you went to his house and put paint on his car. And now you're suing him for damages. Now, what sense does that make, Marlene? He's the one that took that car. Shut up. Both of y'all are stupid. You have to pay for each other's damages. What? Judge Joe Brown, case closed. I'm a sassy bailiff who just go, who's essentially a hype man. I love my bailiff. <laughs> how does one become a daytime judge? And how does one become a daytime bailiff? To be the second banana to a daytime judge. Yeah. That's not a bad gig. No. So I imagine, first of all, police academy. Okay. You watch every <laughs> Wait, I thought every you meant, sequel. I thought you meant you go yeah. to police academy. No, that seems like too much. No, I guess you're right. <laughs> <laughs> you get really good at sound effects. Absolutely. That can't be real. I can Those get a can't row. be real cases. No. I don't believe you, daytime TV. Aaron, I have something I have to tell you. Oh, man. This sounds serious in our otherwise uh, blissful podcast my cousin was on one of those shows i'm not gonna do a spit take <laughs> but because i respect your home well i i timed it i was ready for it <laughs> <But> please, <laughs> i scotch guarded the entire apartment imagine just for that i did moment. a spit take well uh, now i'm sorry i disappointed you. it's okay like we're from delaware but they flew him out to like chicago or something to do it that's where all those shows are. Yeah, it was weird. It was really weird. He told me about it, and I just didn't get it. I couldn't comprehend. I, I like, I knew what Judge Judy was like, but he was on. I forget what it was like. The People's Court with. Oh, that's classic. Something or other. He had an actual court case. He's like, I am filing charges against this person. Yeah, I think so, and I think I'm not sure if like the actual court had already decided it. Or something, and then they went to the show, and like they did the whole spiel, and then the the TV judge like ordered a sentence that was like the exact same as what the court ordered. Any, we can be TV judges. Let's tag team TV judges. Come a courthouse party. Come a courthouse party. Come bring. We'll be. Uh, it will be a Judge John Hodgman type show. <laughs> Come to us with your anime grievances. Mm -hmm. and we'll sort them out. Yeah. We're tough but fair. We're tough but fair on all your anime friends. You want to know why Naruto and Sasuke are getting a divorce? <laughs> oh, shit. I feel like you revealed something that what? some viewers might be mad upset about. What? I don't know nor care. Oh, no. That was just, that was me making a reference to a show and, and then saying, some, some things that are suggestive about two male characters' you were relationship. You making a joke. I was making a joke, yes. Uh, I've already failed you. It's okay. I won't fail you because I'm not doing the one-minute roundup this week. But I will. <laughs> I'll yes. fail you all. <laughs> I'm going to go down in blaze of glory, Aaron. In case this is your first episode, and if it is, welcome and thank you. Hi. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> You're stuck now. Yep. You're in it. <laughs> in it to win it, baby. We're married. <laughs> yep. We're I got the U Haul's packed. I'm coming over. I got your ears. <laughs> well, your ears are mine. You took it to a uh okay. No, like cause it's audio. It's audio only. I automatically mean. thought serial killer. <laughs> Ooh, no, activity. but uh, uh an ear necklace. It's a great way right. to show your enemies <laughs> who's boss. <laughs> and your loved ones. How much also, who's them. boss? Also, who's boss? That's what Van Gogh did. So the one minute roundup <laughs> is when we uh, <clears throat> the one minute roundup is when we try to summarize the entirety of the of uh, what has transpired in the show so far mm -hmm. in a minute or under. Mm -hmm. uh, easy now, harder later. Wait, is it easy now? <laughs> Easyish now, harder later. All right. <sighs> there, there's been some controversy. Between between when when what time when do you want me to give you the warning? Um, What's your preference? Listen, I got I got a metronome in my head, so I don't need nothing. All right, so just when times up. When call times it. up, it's Ooh, it's up. It's I a, know I'm going without a safety. That's a bold net. strategy, Cotton. Fuck it, Let's we'll see do it how live. It plays out. We'll do yeah. it live. 
Pepper right. needs new shorts. <laughs> <laughs> are you ready, sir? No. Uh, are you going to start when I say go? Yes. All right. And three, two, one. Boop. Okay. Goku, a monkey boy, meets a blue-haired girl named Balma who co-ops him into searching for seven magic dragon balls that can grant any wish. Uh, they meet a pig who can change shape. They go to the desert. They're uh, pursued by uh, Pilaf and his cohorts, Shu and Mai, in the desert. Goku and Bulma meet Yamcha and Poir. Poir is a cat that can shapeshift. Yamcha likes wolves and a fang and a fist. Uh, after they stop Pilaf from taking over the world with the Dragon Balls, Goku goes to Roshi's house. He's a turtle hermit. He knows martial arts. He knows the Kamehameha wave. He's super strong. And in that mist, he meets Krillin. Krillin is his friend. Um, little tiny monk boy. Uh, after that, they train and they train and they train and they train and they train for eight months until they can move a giant stone. Then after that, they get really cool suits. They meet a girl named Lunch who sneezes and turns Super Saiyan. <laughs> and then they fight Man. in the tournament. Ah, you, you got it. Yeah, they fight in a tournament. They fight in the tournament. Ten, here's, Tenkaichi tournament. Here's what I liked about that roundup. What? Was that you did it like a fight announcer. <laughs> <laughs> I did not intend And it. a left and a right. He's on the ropes. <laughs> Goku's training with Krillin. <laughs> Roshi's in the lead and the foot race. All right, fine. You got it. I, I've always wanted to be a, a boxing announcer. <laughs> I've always wanted to be that guy who hits the bell in the Rocky movie. He's like, oh, and down goes Clubber Lang. Those are jobs that there's no like clear career path. No, to. you can't they go to school like for that. They seem like a mystery. Mm-hmm. Like, I feel like everyone who's in it is like, I don't know, just fell into it. Yeah. How? Show me. I was a what? banker, and then I started talking to my friend, and he goes, you got a voice for radio. Next thing I know, I'm standing next to Floyd Money Mayweather <laughs> talking about his left and right hooks. Uh, hi, I'm I'm Drew. I'm Andy's father. I'm an accountant. Uh, you know, not as glamorous as announcing boxing matches, but uh, a very viable career for Boo! Boo! Tell us how to be funny! And and do things live on air. <laughs> well, uh, I, I don't do any of those things, as uh, as my son can attest to. I don't like you, Dad. You're boring. <laughs> well, I'm just as God made me, son. And uh, you know what? Maybe a little boring got into you. Ew! 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 Well, all five of you, I hope you enjoy this presentation. <laughs> And scene. scene. Oh man, those kids. Uh, kids these days. Unappreciative. Goddamn millennials. The accounting arts. Mm-hmm. Vince, what episode did we watch this week? This week, episode 21. All right, oh yeah, wait, wait, wait. <clears throat> so you teased me a little bit. Oh yeah. When I walked in the door, you're like, I'm not going to tell you that dub title. Right. So I think in breaking with tradition, I should go first. Oh, okay. Okay, fine. Because it's not that should we let, interesting. Should we let any new listener know that Aaron and I are watching two different versions of Dragon Ball? We are. Aaron is watching the Japanese language uh, English subtitled version. Mm-hmm. I am watching the English dubbed version. So that and we may compare and contrast. Indeed. In this it's how we spice up our relationship a little bit, you know? We see other animes. We see other animes and it works on for the us. Side. Mm-hmm. And then we meet up and talk about it. It's yeah. fine. Oh, we're God. very comfortable. Our therapist thinks we're doing great. <laughs> What's your title? <laughs> Watch out! <laughs> Kurarin. That's it. That's it? It's Watch Out! Exclamation point. Kurarin. Oh. This. Which I feel super racist for saying. But that's how, but that's how it is. That's yeah. how it is. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Kuririn. 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 Mm-hmm. I took one full year of uh, Japanese. That's right. Please correct my enunciation. Can I tell you about the first day of my Japanese experience, Aaron? You may tell me about the first day of your Japanese my experience. My sensei. This Ooh. small Japanese woman. She's so much fun. But she gave us like a little joke to start. She goes, like she was asking us, how do you how do you think you pronounce these words in Japanese? And we were like, uh, we don't know. Uh, and then she goes, how do you think you pronounce uh, rollerblading in Japanese? And we were like, uh, uh, we don't know how. Like, And we started asking, like, so how do you say skating? And how do you say like wheels? And, and then she goes, it's just Aurora Brady. That was it. 
she said it. She said it. That was her punchline. She she set up that joke perfectly. Me and my best friend Hunter, we laughed so hard. <laughs> it was great. Um, but back to the task at hand. You want to know what episode 21 is in English? I do. Episode 21 smells like trouble. It's pretty good. Yeah! Let's I think this ball. is one of the few times dun, 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 dun. that the dub title is beat. Ah. The subtitle. Finally. Put one on the board. Man. Way to go, America. <laughs> we finally finally got one we right. We finally beat the Japanese. Back in the 80s. <laughs> they've, you know, they've had so much over us mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. this past century. Pokemon. Ooh. Ugh. I physically pulled my collar. It was, a, it was a sight to see, ladies. And three I stayed of, on ladies. <laughs> three feet of pulling. Ooh. Let's get them long arms. <laughs> and his collar grew three sizes that day. Some theater of mind shit right now. <laughs> but yeah, episode 21, Smells Like Trouble. Yamcha, Krillin, Goku. These are characters. <laughs> there are also people that have made it into the Tenkaichi Tournament officially. Right. Uh, there are three of eight contestants mm-hmm. uh, that are competing to be the best in uh, on Pangea World. Best under the heavens. Mm-hmm. Narrator was on point in the beginning of this episode. He was listing all the fights and using very great language. My favorite thing that he 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 said, the English narrator, um, in describing the elimination round, he said it was like a a foot flying fury. Oh, I love that alliteration. Ooh. Of the Tenkaichi Tournament. Uh, And that was so great. And then the next thing in my notes is like, the smelly guy fight. Because I remember this fight so fondly from back when when the first time I watched it. Uh, So my notes are just reactions. (laughs) So I'm going to need you to steer the ship for a little bit. All right, cool, cool, cool. Roshi uh, hanging out with Balma. Mm Mm-hmm. Gets her, gets her a shirt. You know, Roshi's, you know, he's turning a new leaf. He's being a nice he's guy. Th- yeah, yeah, yeah. He's he... like, hey, Bulma, I bought you a shirt. You yeah. should put it on. And then it gets weird. Quickly devolves into perverseness. He gets her a keychain, too. Oh, yeah, a little That keychain. doesn't excuse the behavior. Well, no, it was a necklace. Uh, yeah, she's very, and she's like, oh, thank you. Yeah, she's like, as anybody who gets free gifts, I'm going to say thank she you. Should know. Uh, she should she know. Should she should be weird, like, wary of... Roshi's uh, kindness. So what? Okay. He's a so perv Roshi in an old man's clothing. In the sub. <laughs> so an old man. Uh, yeah. So Roshi <laughs> in the sub. Straight up like, well, I bought you these gifts. You know, how about a little powerful, powerful yep. for all time's sake? What is he saying this in the uh, dubbed? Just a little touch. He wants to touch it. Ooh, there he does. He does make the. He makes mm-hmm. this. He's like, "How about it, Balma?" So the, ah! pa, the pafu pafu motion is the new dance craze. Pafu pafu. Everybody's doing Put it. Put your hands up in front of your face. Uh. Palms facing other palm. Then mm-hmm. squeeze, baby. Then squeeze. Uh huh. Like you got a pair of boobs in there. Hey yeah. hey. Then yeah. squeeze, baby. baby just squeeze. Uh. Like you got, got a, a pair, pair of boobs, boobs in, in there. there. Hey hey. And that's pafu pafu. We're sorry. Was, <laughs> I'm not sorry. <laughs> Roshi gets, and then Roshi gets a, a wallop. Mm-hmm. He gets a punch. Roshi gets an uppercut like none other. He's up. A, he's got to be at least 10 feet in the air. He gets some air. Yeah. This is, it was he a cool shot. sick air. Yeah. Also, I don't know how Balma managed to do that. Her stance at the end, she seemed woefully off balance. Where did she generate she's that not, power from? She's not a trained fighter. Anger. A woman scorn, my friend. Mm. As in hell hath no fury. Oh, I get it. Right. <laughs> I know that for old. For those that know the that old chestnut. That old chestnut. <laughs> I yoded it for you. <laughs> Aaron, have you watched the trailer for episode eight? Or heard of the trailer being leaked sometime soon? No, I don't want to. Uh. Do or do not. I f- Yoda, there you're, are Yoda. no spoilers. Yoda, Yoda. We got this podcast to get there and we don't got much time. <laughs> I'm fading away. <laughs> That's fine. Sleep, I must. Sleep, I must. Hey, Yoda, can you tell me an important plot point? Sleep, I must. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck off. You know. <laughs> like that, don't like Yoda's pulling that. Oh, I'll diverge yeah. on this. Yoda's pulling that girlfriend tactic. <laughs> ooh, ooh. Our boyfriend. It's it's, a, it's like, a battle of the sexes here on 
sig- he's fire. pulling that significant other move of mm-hmm. like, hey, can we talk about something? No, I'm very, I'm very tired. Good night. Man. Really asleep. Really asleep. I mean, every time I hear somebody <laughs> making that that sound, I know they're out. You're actually yeah. You're actually sleeping. The sound of genuine sleep. <laughs> Yeah, I think Oolong's like, you should have entered the tournament. I'm like, good rib, good rib. Yeah. Good jest. Yeah, I was like, all right, Oolong. You're still a dirty pig, but. My note is, this ain't Girls Gone Wild, Roshi. Ooh. You can't expect like, hey, here's a t-shirt. Put it how on. About, how about them titties? <laughs> Put it on in front of all of these people. Out in the open, take your shirt that you're wearing off, expose your breast there, yeah. then put a tight shirt on to expose them in a different way. Then let Roshi touch him, touch him, touch him. But in, I also all in public. Yeah, all all in the public eye. But I wrote down in my notes, I said, he's been trying to give women gifts mm-hmm. and take them out on quote unquote dates. Um Yes. He gives Boma a chain, a gold chain, mm-hmm. a new outfit, right? Okay. He's in an all black suit with a I think with I a big know old hat you're going and with blacked this. out shades all the time. Man, Roshi ain't no perv. He's just a pimp with no hose. <laughs> Roshi's just trying to find some hose. He needs a stable. He needs a stable. His stable is empty. He has zero bitches, let alone a bottom bitch. Mm-mm. I mean, could we say that Launch is his bottom bitch? But Launch ain't around. That's true. All right. Well, um, I think that's canon. <laughs> it's canon. He's not Roshi. trying to make money. What are you Unless he's not got, like, you know what? He's just so unsuccessful. He's, uh, he hasn't gotten to that stuff He yet. didn't read Pimpin' for Dummies. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't realize that Pimpin' is easy. Pimpin' is so easy, but Roshi can't get it. It's also hard. Yeah, Pimpin' is real hard. <laughs> Ding. <laughs> is Pimpin' easy? Hell yeah, it's easy. <laughs> Somehow that is also <laughs> correct. <laughs> She's given a note by our producer. Our producer just gave me a note. It says, gone to free manicure. I don't know why our producer felt like they needed to tell us that, but our producer's going out for a manicure. First of all, congratulations. <laughs> yeah, congratulations, producer. Uh, wish you best of luck. Stay dry. It's a wet one out here in New York City. A little hazy on the uh, 305. L-I-R <laughs> is a bit slow, but uh, take it easy, folks. Hydroplaning is a real thing. Uh, meanwhile, on the 6 train, it's fucked as always. And the 7 is under constant maintenance. Wondering where that 2nd Avenue Q line is? Fuck off. It's nowhere to be found. And back to you in the studio. Yep. <laughs> the next thing I, I have in my notes, though, is the announcer. The eternal announcer from every episode of Dragon Ball. This is his first time that we see him. I'm so excited. Oh, yeah. He's he's a blonde gentleman. With yeah, the, the blonde guy. He's got that dapper hair. He he runs on a checklist. He's he's taking attendance. Taking attendance like a kindergarten teacher would. <laughs> but these any are, teacher. Any teacher or announcer would no need to <laughs> No need to degrade kindergarten teacher. What? <laughs> Sorry. Teachers of the world, you do great work. So he's uh, running down the names of the eight finalists, and, mm-hmm. and they are uh, Nam, N A A M. The 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 Dossim yes guy yes yeah. It, so yeah. I have a bunch of scribbles here in my notes for the name because I'm like, oh, these are probably important, right? But in Aaron fashion, I can't read my own handwriting. <laughs> so it's like I want to say it wasn't Namaste, but I think it was Namasan. Oh, okay. The subtitle. Well, I guess that's probably a little play on words there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, uh, it's... So it's, hungry so hungry and in demand, nom. Mm-hmm. As in nom nom. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Continue. Uh, next is a purple afro sporting pretty lady named Ran Fan. Right? That's it? Ran Fan? Like, look, archaeologists are going to study my notebooks for years. Oh, man. <laughs> trying to decipher their meaning. <laughs> they could find that little God notebook. Because goddamn, I can't... Not Diane. Diane? It's, a D. it's not a Diane. Her name's Diane. Her name's not fucking Diane. Ed Cannon. <laughs> <laughs> Boop. Boop. Shit, Vince hit the cannon button. I hit the cannon button. It's forever cannon and her forever. name's Diane. Forever. So yeah, Diane. Mm-hmm. She, she's a lady fighter. She's a lady fighter. Um, she's a fighter who's a lady. She's a fighter who, is, who just happens to be a lady. Yeah, by chance. By, by, by chance. Or I'd roll, like to say roll by a, roll of the dice by skill. We haven't seen her fight yet, so we don't really I know. Don't know. Um, but she beat some other people. She had to. She had to. 
Yep. Um, next is uh, I'll just Yamcha. Yamcha made it. We know Yamcha's Ooh, in there. I'm it? sorry. <laughs> huh? Let's act like yes? adults here. Uh, next <laughs> is Monster Beast Giren, who I wrote down is a literal dragon. Oh. I always saw him as a pterodact. I was like, he's a pterodactical monster. Okay, I get it. He's a yeah. My mind goes to dragons. And I, yours I, goes to and I have a thought, pterodactyls. but I'll get to it when we get to the pairings. All right, uh, okay. and then we have uh, Krillin. Krillin, easy enough. Jaboy Krillin, say. yeah. Jaboy Krillin. <laughs> Jaboy Krillin. <laughs> then there's this mysterious man named. Uh, oh, you forgot Goku. Do we say Goku? But I want to. I want to talk about the announcer right. not being able to. Ah, uh, yes, yes, we should. We should. All right. So mysterious man. Mysterious man. Jackie Chun. So we kind of gloss over a little bit before this. Right. Uh, we, everyone's sort of like hanging out in a room, mm-hmm. like sizing each other up. A little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Aaron's doing the shifty eyes. I am. I'm doing that spaghetti western. <whistles> Jackie Chun. Back into it. Is a pervert. Oh, God. So he, basically, he, he sees Diane. Mm-hmm. And like specifically request, like he goes up like, Hey, can I fight her first? Yeah. Like straight up. And the announcer says, of course not. He's like, no. <laughs> then- fuck off. <laughs> he has to say fuck off. No, but pretty much the same. That's thing. It's in his anime eyes. Yeah. Behind those shades. <laughs> <laughs> his anime shades. It was inferred. Right. So this Jackie Chun character uh, looks a lot like a certain other old man pervert that we know. Yeah. Except he's rocking some dope hair. He's got some really... Dope hair. And like a classic kung fu outfit. Mm-hmm. The the black silk shirt. Uh, much like the one I own. Yeah. The bigger the the sleeves that are bigger towards the hand. Mm-hmm. So like when you punch it looks dope. Yeah. And you can roll those sleeves up. Yep. To, to when you're getting ready for a fight. Ah, absolutely. No other reason. No other reason. Or cooking. <laughs> or cleaning. Those are the other two reasons. Those that's it. Forms of fighting. Forms of fighting. Because you're fighting grime and you're Fight. fighting hunger. <laughs> <laughs> fight hunger with a with the kung fu rope it's true but yeah he's jackie chun <clears throat> love that name yeah i'm glad and surprised that it stayed throughout the in the the subbed i think that's a testament to who the the name is an homage to that everybody knows his name yep there's not a person on the planet that doesn't know that name sam o hung that's right sam o hung everybody knows sam o hung who did a season of nypd blue yep that historic <laughs> season back in <laughs> 2008 <laughs> oh it was earlier than that, oh friend i mean the director sam o hung <laughs> yes I believe he's a film director. That's not who it's really in reference to. Okay, it's Jackie Chan. It's Jackie Chan. One of the greatest movie fighters. Ever. Ever, yeah. Period. Ever, period. Ever, period. The end. The end. One of the highest paid actors ever in the world, ever, still to this day. What? Yeah, he makes a ton of money. His kids are shit. Sorry, Jackie. He's got a son that just wastes all his money on drugs and stuff. Well, that sucks. Hey, it's a price you pay for fame glory we love you we love we'll you, be Jack your son Chan. we'll be your son Jack, we'll spend if your- i could be if i could be jackie chan's son for a day i would kill you where you're staying <laughs> wait me or someone the audience you i'm staring directly at you at the audience yes I yeah at the audience <laughs> i'm seeing them through your eyes jackie chan i'll waste your money on not drugs no i would just i want to be in the like I'll, i want to be in the industry right I mean, I'm, not, I'm not a kung fu man no but like i don't know you could direct. Yeah. You could direct. Oh, hell yeah. You could <laughs> let's write, let's bang out this script about an old cop. Yeah. One day from Kung Fu Retirement. Super Cop 8. <laughs> the Retirement. <laughs> <Super>. <laughs> it all takes place at the retirement party, and it's every, like, and it's the son or grandson of every, every like, villain, villain from the oh other Super Oh, my God. All the they white come together. men from Rush Hour yeah. 2 and 3 of their sons. <laughs> Rush Hour 4. <laughs> Yeah, Rush Hour 4 is the retirement yeah. of uh, Chris Tucker. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, I or mean, the, or, or his, daughter's, his daughter's wedding. It's yeah. some sort of event that gets fucked. Absolutely. Like, Jackie, we gotta go! <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, I learned those moves now! I'm I know not, how to fight like you! I'm, look, my English is perfect now. I don't <laughs> have to do that stupid accent anymore. Look, Chris, knock it off. 
please don't touch my Sirius XM because I'm a black man. <laughs> Scene. <laughs> <laughs> and Vince calls. Oh, God, I loved it. <laughs> I couldn't take it. Vince gives a mercy killing to that bit. <laughs> One shot. Back he, had a, he, had a white, <laughs> he had a white towel in the ready. Mm-hmm. So we get, so we see them. Oh, oh, we didn't Ooh. get to the last guy. Ooh, well, two less. Guy's two a- less. So let's do, let's do Gaku first, and then Gakao. Yeah, let's do Kakarot first, and then we'll do Gakao. Yeah, go. Oh, is that what it was? Gaku. So the guy fucks up his name. Yeah, the announcer can't say Goku, and the Goku's like. Yeah, because he started. There's the announcer starting to get more and more upset the more times he has to say "go cow" and nobody responding. And Yamcha helps him out. Good yeah. on Yamcha. But like in the subbed, mm-hmm. he says an entirely different name. Oh, I don't know what it is. I don't know why I'm doing the Hitler salute. No, you're not. You're just pointing. Point. Okay, <laughs> I don't know why you uh, karate chopping. Yeah, you're karate chopping. Uh, yeah, it's on that's brand. It. That's all. That's all Nazis were doing. Mm-hmm. That's all. <laughs> Wait, were... no, Aaron. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Let it be known that Vince forgives the Nazis. I oh, damn it. Aaron Cannon. Cut, Aaron cut this out. No. Aaron hit the cannon button. Nah, fuck that. Aaron cut the future Aaron cut this out. <laughs> future Aaron doesn't have shit. <laughs> go, what are you gonna do? Go back. <laughs> go into the future to stop future Aaron from cutting this episode. <laughs> yep. <laughs> On a long enough timeline, Vince invents a time machine. <laughs> Just so he can tap me on the shoulder and say, Hey man, maybe Le- maybe leave that in. Hey. Maybe think about leaving that one in. Mm-hmm. Huh, bud? Hey, you know. <laughs> How do I die, Vince? <laughs> uh, Don't tell me, please. I hope you like Clearly, I hope you like Chuck E. Cheese. Here's here's the thing though. If you <laughs> Yeah, okay. Real quick. So real quick, I'm gonna go to this fucking tangent. All right. Oh, all right. If somehow you invent time travel yes. or pay for time a time travel service okay. to come back for the explicit purpose. Of like saying, "Hey, man, leave that in." It's you're very. You have to be very successful, as I imagine. Time travel is a lofty expense that mm-hmm. only the one percent of the one percent could afford. Absolutely, I'm the richest. Two, man on earth. you're a goddamn super genius. Yes, and using that genius, you become the one percent of the one percent. Absolutely. Three, our podcast is so successful mm-hmm. that it warrants you coming back. To oh, like, the people, hey, man, the people have spoken, and they want that. They want those deleted scenes back. <laughs> It's like, look, it'd be real rad if you could do that. <laughs> it's not going to help the numbers. No. It'd be a personal favorite. To, it's the one blemish on my otherwise. You know what it is, Aaron? In the career. future, it's it's some it's some sweet, sweet child's make-a-wish. He's infected with the alien virus that we don't have a cure for. Because we've cured everything else at that Jupiter point. Jupiter AIDS. Future. Jupiter AIDS. He's got Jupiter AIDS. Yeah. And, uh, and I have to go back in time. I have to. Me and Matthew McConaughey, we fly. <laughs> the, he the, takes the, you in his time travel. Me, Uber. it's me, Matthew McConaughey, Tars, and his, we go back in time. <laughs> his time traveling Lincoln. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> also, in my in my trip to the past, I get them to rename Interstellar Vincer Stellar, <laughs> <laughs> and so. I I have them take out that goddamn scene in the black hole in the bookcase. Because why? Why? Ooh, we're not gonna go there. We got- oh, how a human being survives a black hole? Aaron, yeah, we won't go there. We won't go there. <laughs> <laughs> or how love is the answer, Aaron? <laughs> and a force that dictates, Aaron, <laughs> the bindings of the galaxies Stop are it. the force. You're gonna bring out the worst <laughs> me. The most righteous side of me is coming out. <laughs> it's. The dumbest <laughs> way to end an otherwise scientifically sound movie about space travel. Okay? I, I can be your angle or your devil. Oh. God, why did they do that? All I wanted was it just to cut to black for that moment. And then they just fade up. Like It, was, it would be a beautiful fade in to the space station that Murphy finally got off the ground. And we didn't need future people help. No! We did it on our own because humanity is great. Well, you just leave that ambiguous. And then you can finally cut to the to that girl on the planet with the guy and just find whatever love is important to the human race. <laughs> whatever. It is. It is. I don't know if I'm making space decisions based on it. No! But, he, but it, 
counterpoint, if McConaughey were like, all right, let's go to Love Planet, he wouldn't have gone through the black hole. He wouldn't have saved the human race. So his pragmatism, anyway. Fine. Good day. Goodbye, Interstellar. We're going to leave you for we're, another yeah. time where we have more time. They mispronounce Goku for some yeah. dumb reason. Mm-hmm. I mean, I'm sure it's a valid reason. I'm sure it's a hilarious reason. I'm, I just don't get it. I'm not culturally aware enough. Right. And then, finally, the the baddest... Baddest motherfucker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I will say... Yeah, yeah, he is. He's the worst. And, I, and I'll tell you why once we, once we get to him. Right. So imagine a Conan-like figure that's not muscly, but is big. Big, bo- big man. The blob, if you will. Tan. Big. Four teeth. Four teeth. As soon as he walks in the room, everyone holds their nose. <laughs> Who could this man be? Bacterian. Yeah. Or bacterium. I, I thought it was bacterian. Bacterian. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. he has Herculean strength, as Yamsha says. Ooh. Then it, so he just said he was super strong, and the legend is he's never bathed. Not since the day he, he was, was born. born. Which I guess he'd get one. Like you get one a bath. Everybody gets one. Here's why he's the baddest motherfucker around. Tell me. As hard as that training was for them, Dragon Boys. Uh huh. That was eight months. Eight months. You can get through that. That's mm-hmm. that's a when you consider your life. That's it's, a it's not a drop in the box bu- in the bucket, mm-hmm. but it's a uh, you know it's not long. Mm-mm. You go without bathing until you're. I'd argue this man's in his. If he's at peak performance, peak physical mid twenties, I'm gonna say I, go about twenty, maybe younger. I know in the fighting game you want to skew a little younger, so twenty one. How's that, Vince? Fine. Is that agreeable? That's fine. Give me an age then. I was gonna say twenty eight. Look, <laughs> <laughs> he looks like a guy who's who's had his own insurance for a while <laughs> and chosen that- not to use <laughs> it like, at all. It's like you know the dentist is free, right? <laughs> <laughs> My weapon. But like, think about the dedication it takes right. to not bathe. He's the, almost monk-like. The loneliness involved mm-hmm. in just being a constant stink. Nobody thinking about bacteria. No, yeah. one, no one is approaching him. No, maybe that's all he wants. He's, he just wants somebody to love him. He just like, I'm committed. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Maybe he had a great love, and it's just like, baby, you got to bathe. It's like, no. In Kaichi tournament. Once I win, I'll bathe. And she's like, You'll never change. That's the wind blowing as oh. his love walks out the door. Man. And walks out Cherry the door of that saloon petals. that they live in. <laughs> <laughs> that saloon. <laughs> Why do they live in a saloon, Vince? I Tell was, me your thought process. I just, the wind. <laughs> sorry, That's was, it. The wind. Was, and Aaron, I'm, I, my head is in Westworld so much. Ugh. Which we can't talk about. We can't talk about. We cannot talk about it. Cannot. We get rules mm-hmm. about the tournament. Mm-hmm. Uh, no killing. No killing. No eye poking. No eye poking. No hitting sensitive areas. Sensitive areas. Goku the dum dum. Mm-hmm. Ask what the that, lovable what that is. And in the sub, it's like, well, to uh, put it in non sensitive terms, uh, do not hit each other in the balls. Yeah. Uh, the dub version is a little bit more like, oh, you know, what makes you a boy? He goes, oh. Oh, that's a good one. He's yeah. like, my, my fighting spirit and scrappy nature? No, Don't no, hit that? No, Goku. <laughs> my sense of adventure? No, Goku. <laughs> I don't understand. Fine. You're testies. <laughs> I still don't understand. I didn't learn proper terminology. Oh, man, that training did nothing for you. <laughs> All that erotic fiction you <laughs> that say er- read every day. Every day. God. God, how do you not become a perv after reading erotic fiction every day? For I'm eight sure months? Goku blanked out. That's true. And then Krillin's just Krillin's got some nope deep... notebook over his over his crotch. Mm-hmm. Uh, we all uh, know. Uh, 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 guys out there. Some gals, I don't know. Mm-hmm. You know that feel. Everybody's got that feel. You gotta hide you gotta hide it during class. Tuck it. <laughs> Tuck it up. Tuck Waist it up. Band. Wait, yep. I was just about to say, <laughs> the only place you can go with it. Hide that thing. Mm-hmm. Um, and then pray you don't get asked to write something on the board, or it's not your turn to give a presentation. Diane raises her hand and says, I don't have balls. Mm. 
And then everyone does the anime faint. Yep. But. But. Um, <laughs> yeah, Ram Fan, I think, just says, well, what about my sensitive parts? I think that's the parallel there. Right after that, they um, they choose their pairings for the for the yes. next round. Like fine wines mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. delectable meals. Absolutely. They are paired at random. Exactly. <laughs> at the writer's discretion. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right. So let's let's get this card going. Yeah, let's let's show this matchup. I think we should only talk about the one that we see right now. All right, that's fair. I do want to say so Goku is matched up with the pterodactyl person. Monster Beast Gear. Yeah. And my note is Goku's gonna eat that pterodactyl. Mm. That's how he's gonna beat him. He's gonna fucking eat him. Well, I thought I originally thought maybe Monster Beast Gear is the same monster that took Bulma in the very beginning of the show. No, he's he's smaller and colored differently. Well, maybe they're brothers. Maybe they're cousins. Vince, you're better than this. <laughs> Am I? <laughs> um, uh, Yamcha's put up against Jackie Chun. Yes. And my exact note is, well, it was nice knowing you, Yamcha. Yeah, yeah. We know what's going to happen. Well, we won't spoil it for you. Look, I haven't seen it, so I can't spoil it for you. I just know. Oh, I know. Yeah. I know all. It's <laughs> Yamcha's downfall. The Let's just say... But- the uh, tradition of Yamcha losing fights begins now. <laughs> and just start your Yamcha losing clocks now. Yep. And Yamcha becomes the butt of all Dragon Ball jokes now. No. Right here. And yeah. Um, and I don't know how he is in Super. Dead, I'm sure. <laughs> I'm Yamcha. That's my American Yamcha voice. All right, Yamcha. Do you know that hey! Goku's fighting a god? You guys are fighting gods? <laughs> I'll help out. No, Yamcha, don't. Please. How about a wolf fake fa- I'm dead! <laughs> he had a heart attack because he's an old man. <laughs> hey, just because I'm 50 doesn't mean I can't battle. Yamcha, why did you leave your family for this? <laughs> I don't have one. I'm everyone's cool uncle that... C- Crashes on your couch on Thanksgiving. No, 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 no. Yamcha, please. Gohan has a child that's stronger than you. Just go home. I would if I had one. No, oh, God, no. Yamcha. Puar doesn't have time for me. What with her, his grandchildren. Oh, no. All right, or somebody kill dead. him. Somebody kill him. Frieza? Super Frieza, kill him. I'll just come back. Someone keeps wishing me back. Who? Nope. Nope, we're going to destroy the Dragon Ball so you can't be wished back. <laughs> JK, here I am. I never die. What? Is Yamcha secretly the strongest person in the universe? He's, He's immortal? His secret power is pity. And then everyone brings him back. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I'm calling you out, Yamcha fans. Oh, God, Yamcha fans. Hope you like that haircut. Yamcha fans are the Browns fans of oh, the DBZ universe. Poor, those poor, poor, poor sons. Of- Good on you. But- yeah. Bless your heart. So wait, As Yamcha, I say in the South, bless your heart. If Yamcha's fans are Browns fans, <laughs> then who were the Cubs fans? Because the Cubs just got a real big win in Ooh. the Dragon Ball universe, right? Who just got a big win in the Dragon Ball universe then? Um, I'm trying to pick are you? A, I mean, like, you could claim a Yajirobe. Yajirobe? Yeah, yeah, like yeah. Bit, yeah. Like, and it's appropriate for Chicago. Absolutely. Yajirobe's yeah. from Chicago. Yeah, clearly. Hands down. Hands down. Hands down. Yeah, Hands Jirobi. Down. He, he loves deep dish. <laughs> I, am I from Chicago yet? No one makes fun of you for being a Cubs fan, though. Even before the win. I feel like, yeah, yeah, Cubs, good on you. I mean, White Sox fans do. But, like, it's not a general... Like, it's not like everyone dogpile on the Cubs. No, no. that Those days <coughs> are over. Everybody's just, yeah. you know... Now they're on the um, the Browns. Browns fans get it now. The tri- tribe. Yeah, the, tri- <laughs> the tribe. Okay, but the big matchup, the one that yeah. the one that we've been like fucking dancing around for the last I'll say forty. I'm gonna guess forty minutes. You're right there. Based on editing. Yep. <laughs> Assuming for editing, wind speed. Mm. Speed. Sound. <laughs> uh, Rolling. It's Karirin. Krillin mm-hmm. versus Bacteria. And everyone freaks out. Because how could you fight someone who smells so bad? So, like... The yeah. worst. 
Again, like this dude smells so awful when a- he enters the ring, which is, I'm going to say, at least 50 yards from the nearest human being. Everyone in the audience has to hold their nose and is gagging. Yeah, he is stanky. They should have smelled him in the prelims. Oh. Unless unless they're less, unless everyone going up against him is like, Just was like fuck nope. it, nah. I think that's nah, probably bro. what happened. Nah. I think that's exactly that what happened. <laughs> <laughs> that ain't me. <laughs> like, nope. Can't do it. Dude, stinky. So they, they announced, they, before that, they, they announced, <clears throat> announcer guy goes up, he's like, thanks everyone for waiting. Mm-hmm. It's time for the 10 Kaji tournament. First round. Woo! Guess what, baby? There's cash money in this tournament. Yeah, lots of money. I didn't know that. Lots of dough. 50,000 if you win the first round. 50,000 zenny. 50,000 zenny. These preteen boys are fucking prize fighters. Yeah. What are they going to do with that money? I we, hope Roshi doesn't fucking steal it from him. Uh, well, you know, Goku's going to probably just eat it. Eat it. <laughs> Not Krillin like will, buy food. No, but. he'll just eat the money. Um, I, Krillin would probably spend it on... The ladies. Ladies, yeah. What so, ladies? You know. Ladies his age. <laughs> Good. Appropriately aged. Appropriately aged, aged ladies. Yeah. He, Krillin's, for all intents and purposes, Krillin is a good boy. I mean, he's not like creeping on Bulma. No, he's And he's not. not like... He acknowledges pretty women. Yeah. But that's not his game. He's, yeah. A kin, yeah, again, that, that kinship. I would. I don't think I was a perv as a kid. But I'm like, uh, 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 a beautiful goyle. Mm. That's <laughs> I, all you I, said? I, yep. In, I talked in that old timey Brooklyn accent. I was basically Chris Tucker and Ice Cube from uh, Friday. Damn! <laughs> no, that's not true. I was so shy. I was painfully shy. He's just like, oh, hi, a girl. Uh, goodbye. Bye. Hi, bye. Um, hi, bye. And the announcer uh, announces the first two fighters, Bacterian and Krillin. Mm-hmm. Uh, my favorite little thing he says Ooh. about Bacterian is Keep going. Uh, he goes back uh Bacterian in the soiled brown briefs. That's good. I didn't get that detail. Soiled brown. Did which means at one detail. point his briefs were white. Also, so he's been pooping, farting and I believe sh- you know just nasty 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 stuff in there. Ooh, the stink lines. So here's what the like so either the announce so either Bacterian's like Hey man, just when you announce my color, mm-hmm. just know it's this particular brown is a soiled brown. I'm, I've worked very hard on it, and it would just be a nice little touch. Uh, okay, right. Mister. Uh, sorry. Okay, Mister Bacterian, just uh hey. get in there, and I'll. Uh, what are you doing after? Uh. Uh. uh uh, my wife, she's dead. I know this. I have well, to go to her. So you have free time. There's no, this great no, I, dim sum I have, to, place I have I to. No, I hate dim sum. I'm violently allergic, and well, I need to. That's a little racist. So what? It's... No, no. I it just doesn't agree with me. I'm allergic to time. They use a lot of time in the recipe. Not all dim sum is time. What? No, I said time. T. No, I understand you're referencing the earth. Uh. Just get, just get out there. And see. see. Yeah, those are those are the only possibilities. <laughs> That's it. Um, we we get we get a we get a great honor though. Mm-hmm. As before the before the fighting begin. Oh yeah. The head of the tournament mm-hmm. steps out to say a few words. A regal gentleman. <clears throat> uh distinguished in nature. His features are that of a of a uh a, an old timey war general. He's just a proud man who is also a a hound of some kind. As a certain uh, Memphis boy would say, he ain't nothing but a hound dog. Hmm. And that Memphis boy was. It was me. Okay, good. No, I'm not. J.K. I'm not from Memphis. You're from a play. Look, they know too many people know too many details. Yeah, you okay. can't complete. You can't continue to complete the picture. But the fans want to make the pilgrimage to Aaron's homeland. No, you don't. And where the red, <laughs> the and pilgrimage to tea. identity fraud. <laughs> 
He he's gonna give some words of yes. wisdom to to commemorate this Tenkaichi tournament. Yeah. And there's a big pause. Dramatic pause. Three, two, one, go. Let's say what he says. Okay. The same thing. Okay. So yeah. Mm-hmm. Three, two, one. Roof. Woof. Yep. That's no, it. I said woof. Oh, uh, bark. I believe. There's a big ass subtitle that says woof. Uh, I believe. I think it was. Was it? I'm sorry. On the bottom of the screen. On the bottom of the screen, it says "wolf." In the in the in the wolf. actual animation, there there's an onomatopoeia, yeah, but it's yeah, in yeah. Japanese, and I think it probably okay. says a "wolf." Wolf or bark, depending. Or bark. I don't know. Depending on where you're from. Y'all ever notice how United States <laughs> dogs go bark and Japanese dogs go woof? Hey. Man, what's up with that? <laughs> I don't. That's know. my time. Aaron, hey everybody, give it a good hand for Aaron. <laughs> Next up at the Apollo. <laughs> the people loved it though. Yep, they loved you at the Apollo. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I thought you meant they loved Monk Dog, Droopy Dog as Monk. No, didn't they all give like one of those anime? Ugh. Uh, uh, no. Yeah, they did. Did they? Sure. Mm-hmm. It's canon. I pushed the cannon button. You pushed the cannon button. It's canon. It's canon. <laughs> not, <laughs> not Ooh. Nick Cannon. Ooh, man. It's, we have a we have an it's cannon button. <laughs> and it quickly gets followed up by the not Nick Cannon not button. Nick cannon. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, Vince Nick Cannon. Vince was very adamant when we made the buttons. Dude, like, we had to have a not Nick Cannon. So button. no one can misinterpret this cannon mm-hmm. button. Nick Cannon is nowhere near Especially my precious Nick animes. Cannon. Dude would drive him crazy. If he like he did listen- Mariah Carey. <laughs> if he listened to the show. And he was a huge fan. Would you change your mind about Nick Cannon? No. He's like, hey man, like, love the show. Let's like, let's go to fucking dinner. My treat. Car will pick you up. What I got, a, I got a new show idea. I want to, you know, we maybe we can collab on it. I'm not signing on to no Wild and Out too, brother. It's Wilder and Outer. You know what, Nick Cannon? Why don't you just go the make drum? Of why don't you just go make Drumline Three? How old is he now? Thirty-eight, forty. <laughs> he's a, he, he's old. He's older than he looks. Uh, I'll give him that. Black don't is, crack. Is thirty-eight old, Vince? It, it, for some people. It is. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <clears throat> so yeah, we finally, after an hour of talking, finally, about, not I, talking about. I, it. We're finally getting to the the moment you've all been waiting for. The fight between Krillin and Bacterian. This Ooh. is the first, like, first real fight of the tournament. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Non elimination round. Like, they know, like, Krillin knows his strength. There's no, there's no pussyfooting around. It's just st- right into it. The stakes are high. High stakes. I mean, all that money on the line. Yeah. All nice. that, like, hey, man, you're going to do this fight. Okay, I'm going to do my best. Also, you could win a whole. Life changing amount of money, mm-hmm. no pressure, dude. Well, we don't know if it's life changing. There could be as any inflation for all we know. But let's just, for the sake of argument, I'm sorry I even went there. For the sake of argument, that money's going to change that little boy's life. <laughs> little boy, like, everything, like him going to Roshi. It's going to be like that movie, Blank Check. <laughs> <laughs> Here's a blank check. In that movie, I that guess g- we'll accept it. Child. Child. <laughs> <laughs> that kid bought a mansion, like an elephant. A swimming pool, like all this, you can't buy that. Much. You can't buy a mansion for a million. Not for a, you maybe, maybe you can and, buy a mansion for a million. That's, that's it, and that's it. And like, enjoy your empty mansion, kid. Learn right. how money works. And like that million is credits. <laughs> that million isn't for everything. Like that's just the down payment. You know what I'm saying? That's like that. Up I feel front like in you the could door. get. Where where was this movie taking place? Uh. California, probably in some area. I guarantee, in like in Idaho, he could get a McMansion. Oh yeah, in Idaho for 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 a cool Millie. Oh, you know what you can get in Delaware for a cool Millie? <laughs> what? The entire state. <laughs> that would take us in. <laughs> <laughs> and our price, I our prices are dropping since Joe Biden left. <laughs> <laughs> the the property the, values have dipped. <laughs> it's just there's something missing he, he made where's the, that smile he made the grass greener somehow gosh we lost a great man joe's job in delaware was to just drive around smiling at grass uh, smiling make at, sure the lawn smiling at grass and ladies Ooh. Mm-hmm. is he a ladiesman 
Oh my god, the silver fox. <laughs> He's so smooth, he makes butter gels. <laughs> We're not going to do improv tonight in a official capacity oh god, if we no. keep it. All right. Tournament. Okay, the final big fight. And right away, we see and this is going to come to play later. Mm-hmm. We see Krillin holding his nose. Right. And my note is like, dude, what are you holding? Yes. Like, you, I don't understand. Absolutely. And that comes into play later. Mm-hmm. Foreshadowing. What's that first attack? Who who plays the first move? The first move is Bacterian. And, and he and <clears throat> his just rancid odor. Just stepping stepping in the ring <laughs> is honest. You know what? Is at attack that number point, one. I'd be like disqualified, man. You went before we rang the bell. Oh. control your stank. That's a good. That's a good. Uh, if it, if good thing. if like Krillin had a manager in his ring, he'd mm-hmm. been like this motherfucker. Where's Roshi at? Yeah. Huh? Where's Roshi yeah. at to defend Krillin's well, honor? Yeah. Where's that old turtle pervert? I mean hermit. Turtle her- pervert. Wait, wait, just, pervert hermit. Turtle per- pervert. Tur- hermit. Turtle pervert. Turtle pervert. Hermit pervert. Bubba bubba. Hubba bubba. Hubba buddha. Hubba bubba. <laughs> Hubba bubba. Hubba bubba. It's six feet of bubble gum for Hubba. you, not that. Bubba. Hubba bubba. Hubba hubba hubba. <laughs> Who do you love? God, we got it. That's a Joker reference. What the fuck are we doing, Vince? We're just falling into our old ways oh, and we have something to do. I know. Um, I was worried about this. So was- here we go. The fight starts off. Mm-hmm. Krillin is, you know, dazed and confused by the smell. And it seems like Bacterian can actually control where he projects it. So we're getting... Well, especially with his... I think his first actual attack is that bad breath. Is bad breath, which is just Bacterian opening his mouth. <laughs> And blowing his stank breath, the halitosis, in Krillin's general direction, causing him to turn green in a way. He gets, it's so powerful, like it's powerful enough to knock him back. Yeah, he has to take steps backwards, it smells so bad. Um, the next attack from Bacterian, uh, I and believe. And like the is- whole the whole time, like during this whole exchange, Krillin's just getting pummeled. Yeah. He's getting fucked mm-hmm. up. Because Bacterian's like one, two punches, stank. Punch. Stank. stank, stank, punch. Then stank, punch. Then, oh, God, there's some some horrible imagery that we see. Um, Krillin, you know, being the tough guy that he is, surviving those dragon kicks from uh, wannabe Bruce Lee in the elimination round. We know he can take a beating. Mm-hmm. Um, but he can't, he can't. He can't take a stinking. He can't take that stinking. So Bacterian's like, oh, you're tough. So he uses his special attack. Which in this case is him rooting around his junk. And the sound effects are, it's like someone took wet granola and flour and just like. I'm very surprised that this made it past any censor, both right? Japanese or. He's uh, literally American. playing with his stanky penis. <laughs> he's getting he's getting up in that gooch. And yeah. That, and that, in that in the uh, the forbidden zone, and he pulls out his hand, which is like holding, like a. St- it's not. It's gone beyond. It's the yeah. super saiyan of stink lines. Yeah, exactly. It is glowing green. It's, it's with glowing stink green power. with stink. And then he puts it into one finger. <laughs> he concentrates <laughs> it into his finger, a like a spirit gun. Yeah, that's right. Yu Yu Hakusho reference. Uh, Ooh, and. Oh, he gives Krillin the stink of a lifetime. To some degree, I feel like that has to be like way illegal. There's a, there's a genital touch well, followed by a child touch. Didn't kill him and didn't poke him in the eye. I mean, just those are the, the only two rules. That, just still didn't knock him out of the ring. That feel like get Vincent D'Onofrio on there to like solve this case because right. I feel like Krillin's a special victim. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. <laughs> he touched his dick, then he touched the boy. That's not great. No, it's That's not. That's not great. great. Yeah. That's not great on a lot of levels. Yeah. I didn't even think about it that way. I mean, I'm a gross pervert, so I thought about it. <laughs> and I see dirtiness everywhere I look. You see the dirt yeah. that nobody else can I see? S- I look beyond the veneer of your fun time anime and see the dirty yeah. shit. Yeah. The blood-covered streets and the back alleys of Pangea. Aaron, are you okay? 
What happened to you today? She walked in as I poured myself a scotch on oh, my no. desk. No, he's in he's in narrator mode. The Venetian blinds bled, not, not bled, the Venetian had the blinds. neon bleed Aaron. through. Aaron. I could see only her eyes, but it's all I needed to see. Oh, gosh. There was hopelessness there. He's just like Jean-Luc Picard. She was trying to find her salvation. In the holodeck so of the was I in the bottle of bottom of this bottle. Which makes me Jordy LaForge. Ooh, I like this. <laughs> <laughs> then I touched my penis, made it stinky, then I touched her. Nope, nope, I don't like this anymore. <laughs> and Let's see. see. There's a lot of stinky stuff going on. Oh my on. god. I mean, every move is like what a big brother would do to a little brother. Yeah, it's just kind of torture. It's there's, torturous. Like this would not fly I kinda, in the Geneva I mean, convention. there's there's a little some some stuff gets lost here. Uh but I believe there's a spit attack of some sort. Oh, there, there's a um, phlegm firing. Yeah, there is. But a that, that, hold on, that's that's later. That's after Smelly Finger. Okay, which is the name of that attack Smelly. in which he grabs his the jump. Famunda cheese. <laughs> the Famunda cheese. Yes. But like Krillin, you think he's on the rope? He's he's teetering on the edge because mm-hmm. there's also ring out. Yep. They, they play by Tekken rules. Tekken rules. Except it's only one round. Mm-hmm. Um, no time. Infinite time limit. Mm-hmm. Uh, Goku, but like Goku cheers him on. It's like, hey man, you, you can do it. You do it. Yeah, like a good friend. Yeah, Goku's not just the most powerful. He's the most friend. He's the most. Yes, he's the <laughs> most <laughs> friend. <laughs> Goku, best at friendship. That's a that's a shirt. Just a picture of young Goku. Just says the most friend. The most friend. I love it. We got to start cataloging these t-shirts. What do you mean they're they're ever recorded forever and ever? The Man, internet will never it. die. <laughs> Until it does. Until it does. It's going to be a dark day next year mm-hmm. when that happens. When the Y2K hits. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, finally. Sorry, guys. <sighs> yeah, I'm, uh, yeah, sorry I'm laying up, but yeah, plane's falling from the ground. I'm here to fuck shit up. Oh, okay. It's Y2- 19 as- guys, Y2K finally got here. It's 1900. You know, tsunami, <sighs> hey, it's me, Tsunami. I've been, so, I, I've been doing your work for you, man. I've been hitting... All of the coastlines. Mine calendar is just behind me, though, so watch out. Oh, okay. He's he's not as late as me. Are you? How how high do you want this wave, mine calendar? <laughs> uh, <laughs> Hold on, he's got he's on speaker. All right, mine calendar. Can you hear me? It's tsunami. Oh hey, uh, oh man, just you know, high enough to destroy the the world. Like I don't I don't want to tell you how to do your job, but like. Listen, my encounter. You're what? You're you're it, man. You got a promotion. You got a promotion after Y two K. Look, we hit, failed to deliver. We hit some, there are a couple snafus in the apocalypse. What do you mean? You know, there is some rearranging uh, at the executive level. Uh, what does that mean? What do you mean? You you're telling me? Look, that- 2023. I'm I'm like we're gonna drop that hot that hot apocalypse. That okay? hot apocalypse. That hot lot. Hot lips. Hot, hot a lot of lips. Hop, hot, 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 hot lips. Hot lips. Hot lips sounds Ooh. gross though. Though. Wait till I turn. Wait till I tell typhoon and typhoon and drought. Someone take a picture of Vince. Put a bunch of shitty flame graphics, a la a two thousands <laughs> era indie hip hop album, mm-hmm. entitled "Hot Hot Hot Lips." Hot Lips. <laughs> Yo, that's cartoon my, drawing. That's of, my EP. Car, <laughs> cartoon drawing of women with those big old butts. Big old butts. <laughs> Y'all know what I'm talking about. Track one. You go to a gas station. <laughs> it's right there by the counter. <laughs> What's track one? I interrupted. I'm oh, sorry. No. Track one. Earthquake booty shake. <laughs> <laughs> so Krillin is backed up against the ropes at this point. He's got no way out. Yep. He sees an opening, which is between... Ooh. Bacterian's legs. In a bold last ditch effort, Krillin sprints to try to get under him. Not as fast as he should. No, not but definitely not as fast as I'm we I'm sure think. he's off his game. Yeah. That smell is weighing him down. Um BAM! Bacterian sits on him. I'm talking full squat. Just real re- Rafiki. Real from Rafiki. Late nineties wrestling. Like a Boraicho. Perhaps. Ooh, what that? Mortal Kombat. He put your butt. He put his butt in your face. Was that a move? Well, Bo Raicho throws up on you a lot and drinks a lot. It's a play on the. It's what a play is... on the word borracho, which in uh, Wait, this Spanish is... languages. Which Mortal Kombat is this? Boraicho? Yes. He's in. Uh, he's definitely in Mortal Kombat X. Really? He's in most. Mortal which Kombat's. I haven't played. I watch when I'm like. 
oh, this is an hour. I'll just watch all the cutscenes. Oh, uh, so you? <laughs> I know the story. Right. You know. You know the story. I know the Mortal story. Kombat Mortal Kombat. Kombat. The the <laughs> you know the deep, <laughs> rich, heavy hitting plot twisty. B plot, C plot, D right, plot right, right. of Mortal Kombat. X. I mean, the through line of Scorpion versus the, Sub the, Zero <laughs> is just the something memento to style plot. It's beautiful. I cried. <laughs> <laughs> when Guys. Scorpion says, "Get over here," <laughs> it broke my heart. Well, like they, it's the rules of threes. Like the first two are like, "Oh, he's just fighting," but then mm-hmm. when he gets down on one knee to Scorpion. <laughs> <laughs> Pops that box open. <gasps> Get over here. Actually, that's Scorpion. You should say. No, 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 no. You had it right. No, Scorpion says, "Get over here." Right. No. At no. The, if Sub. No, but if Sub Zero says it, that's a better. Yeah. Sorry, guys. We're workshopping. We're <laughs> hey, romantic just... Mortal Kombat slash <laughs> slash <laughs> Mortal Kombat. Yeah. Slash. Let's be honest. It's slash. It's slash. It's never going anywhere. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> um, Krillin's stuck in butt. <laughs> he's stuck in that butt, and it's not just like a. Oh, he's sitting on him. Bacteria is jumping up and down, just rubbing him in. And then farts in his face. The silent but deadly is what mm-hmm. they call the move. Yeah. And it's it's game over, man. Krillin is down Lights for the count. out. Yeah, which there is a 10 count. There is a 10 count. But everyone's like, everyone's cheering. No one likes bacteria. No one does. As they should. No. They respect him. I respect him. You got to respect them. Respect you got to the respect. <laughs> you got to respect those moves, Aaron. Yep, those. I mean, he earned it. Yeah. But everyone's cheering for Krillin to get up. Then Goku's like, dude, you ain't got no nose. It's not that bad. You don't have a nose. It, the stink, the line is, the smell is in your head. Yeah. They kept they kept that pretty much the same. First time I'm going to press this cannon button. Cannon. Then I'm going to press the not Nick cannon button. Ain't no Nick cannon. To, to, just to let everyone know. In in Dragon Ball continuity, mm-hmm. throughout perpetuity, Krillin, Krillin is a mutant who does not have a nose. He doesn't Although have a nose. He could, I mean, he could just be a human that, I mean, but that's the definition of, that's the medical definition He's of a mutant. A mutant. Is uh, a... But he ain't got no nose. And it he, took us a long time to get to this point. First of all, breathing. How does he do it? To be... I would argue. Could you imagine? This, to be, oh, sorry. Uh, to be, I would argue, the strongest human ever. Mm-hmm. Without a nose and proper, like... Ventilation? Yeah, sure. <laughs> That's the term. <laughs> That's impressive in itself. Mm-hmm. To find, like, to find love. Friends. Yeah. Like he, Imagine how much stronger Krillin would be if he could breathe through his yeah, nose. Yeah, that's the only thing holding him back. Yep. Krillin needs to be on fucking Oprah to tell his story mm-hmm. and to give out gift bags. <laughs> With his book. <laughs> this book, Smells of Victory by Krillin. God damn it. <laughs> The only thing in my hand was a bottle cap. I just threw it down because God damn it, that's the best title for a book about Krillin. <laughs> Vince, I'm giving, I'm sliding the badge over to you. Uh, it's new. It is. I mean, it's more shiny. of a ribbon. Oh, no, I'll wear it wherever yeah. I want. MV, podcast MVP. Hey! Vince gets it. Thank you. So this episode, Vince is the podcast MVP. Oh, for wow. That joke. I feel like this is almost <laughs> chance. I got the most kills, though. Oh, you got the most kills? Yeah. But I got But your play ratio the game. was way I got better. to play the game. Kill the match. <laughs> yeah, that, yeah, yeah. I'm that no. one dude in Call of Duty <laughs> <laughs> that always gets the last yeah, kill. Yeah, you got that savage kill. You won the game for us. No, no. You know what I did? You won the match for us. I'm that asshole who starts off every match by lobbing a knife across the map and <laughs> eventually hitting someone. Somehow hits someone. Somehow hits someone in the head and it counts as a headshot. He gets 50 extra points for a headshot, 100 for the knife kill, and 200 for first kill of the game. Yeah, buddy. That guy's an asshole. Well, you're MVP. Thank you, Aaron. I got to work. Yeah, I got to work on my ratio. Well, we'll get there. That's Together. why we're a team. <laughs> Together. We're winning. All right. Wait in this lobby. Uh, wait for matchmaking. Mm-hmm. Some guys dropped out. They weren't very happy. Oh, with come you. on. <sighs> Who's pinging? Hey. Somebody's pinging. I'm high. <laughs> God damn it. Get off my server. <laughs> Your mom sucks dicks. All right. (laughs) I'm muting all you motherfuckers. And And see. see. Krillin gets a voice of strength Mm -hmm. because he realizes the smell is in his head. Right. He kneels this shit. All I have in my notes is 
Krillin has his awakening. Krillin gets woke. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Krillin he, is woke AF. Is, is he's woke episode. AF. Kicks this dude in the chin. Punches him in the face a bunch of times. Knocks him down. In <laughs> beautiful his, fashion. Pulls, pulls his, his little karate little, pants down. Little boy butt. <laughs> Farts in his face and knocks him out with a stink. That is the knockout. He That's gets that ultimate KO, revenge. Ultimate revenge. And Krillin uh, wins the first round of the tournament. And Vince's member berries are full. <laughs> and the announcer's like, look, even someone else's fart stinks to bacterian. Which is true. It's true. If it's not yours, you're not used to it, good, good day. Yep. Like, that's a... Str- like... God damn, Krillin. That is... It's got to be one hell of a fart. That is bold. Yeah. That is some hubris right there. He knew he had that. Could you imagine if that fart didn't work and Bacterian got up? For a, What if like, we punched him in the butthole? That's the perfect... Yeah. Or licked it. That'd be worse. <laughs> oh, God. Not sex, but like... Just... Yeah. yeah. But like, ugh. Ah, yeah. Ah, I give up. Yeah, <laughs> it's like, a fuck fucking this. creep. Ugh. I don't want 50,000 cents, but he's like, my butthole be, licked. Yeah, be a. F- Here's how you would have fight. Be a fucking creep. That's true. But I have I have a buddy, and this is super gross, by the way. So get so hold on to your butts. Ooh, hold on to those and butts. And spread them. Whoa. Um, <laughs> um, you don't have no, to do that. If you want to. If you, if you feel like it. <laughs> Judgment free zone. Uh, his tactic of like. As in, if a Jason like figure, as in Friday the 13th, hockey mm-hmm. mask killer comes at him, something like that comes at him, he's just like, whip it out, jerk off, run towards him. That's his tactic. That's his tactic? Like, because what do you do? And this is a you friend of yours? The, yeah, this is a friend of mine. I mean, <laughs> a normal person, yes, but like a Jason type figure? Maybe nah, that's man. hyperbole. Jason's going to just cut your dick off and then ram Jason, that machete through your heart like, and watch whoop. you die. All right, regular person. Regular person, hell yeah. I'm yeah, that, away from that, that's like, no. I could, have a, I could have a gun pulled on somebody. You whip your dick out in an alley and jerk off and run yeah. at me. I'm running away. Yeah. I don't need your wallet that bad. I ain't trying to get jizzed on. <laughs> I tr- no one's, no, no I don't one's. care who you are. Nope. No one is trying to get jizzed on. Nope. Porn stars aren't even trying to get jizzed no, on. It's, it's in their contract. It's just, they're just <laughs> animals in Flintstones cartoons. It's a living. <laughs> Ooh. Nice. Thank you. Poetic. <laughs> Snaps. Mm. Might I pontificate on jizz? <laughs> <laughs> By all Shall I compare say. these to a throbbing cock? Mm. The veins are mighty. <laughs> uh, give me that explicit tag, baby. <laughs> oh, yeah. Parental advisory. But yeah, Krill- Krillin wins. Krillin wins. And like Goku comes down, and like the boys jump up and down hand in hand. They're just happy karate friends. It's so good. Gonna- it's really nice. It's a, it's a, it was a great way to end that episode. And I, I have a confession about this episode. Aaron. And you know about it. Mm-hmm. I was very tense. And I, I, know, the his, I know what happens to Krillin mm-hmm. in the future. He, he lives. <laughs> he dies like once or twice, but like he lives. Mm-hmm. Great future. Yes. The best future. Um, Arguably. But I was real worried for him. I'm like, I'm not on the edge of my seat, but like I'm getting there. You're a little tense. Like to the point, I'm watching this at like eleven o'clock at night during mm. the, during the Thanksgiving break. Yep, I literally say out loud, "You can do it, Krillin." Oh, to myself, Aaron, that warms. That's my heart. how into this I was. Doll, that warms my heart. But that's great. So if you meet me on the street, maybe not on the street. Feel free to pants me, because <laughs> I fucking deserve it. And that's how we end the podcast. Yeah. I'd say, as Vince is away. Yep, guys, thank you so much. This has been a really good week for the podcast. Uh, we've gotten a lot of new people. Our first episode just broke 200 plays. Again, thank you so, so much. I uh, just want to give a shout out to a, a few people. First, over on the in the in the Twitter sphere, Greg Bennett uh, at GJ Bennett 33. Uh, he, he's on my other podcast, Technical Difficulties. He's always retweeting. Thank you so much, Greg. At Jive Turkey J U E R S, you know him, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's that guy's great. Friend Thank of you so much. Yeah, dude, just always retweeting. Thank you so much again. Yeah, on that on that enough. Instagram front, yeah, I uh, got a few comments here, uh, which I will go to now. Sorry, we're rushing. Sorry, guys. Sorry, we're rushing this, but like for reals, we're super late. Yeah, for, we'll do a little bit more next time, and we'll give you guys all the 
you know, yeah, bef- the uh, before you deserve. Uh, the Bearded Crumb on Instagram. He's always giving us shout outs. Uh, great episode this week, guys. Funny as always. Thank you, the Bearded Crumb. Thank you, Beard Crumb. B E C C A F O F E C C A on Instagram. Becca Effeca? Fafeca? Becca Effeca? Effeca? Sorry, we're fucking this up. But she was at DerpyCon. She had the dopest fucking Jace cosplay. Oh, Go yeah, follow that was her. cool. Oh, my God, that was so uh, cool. Picked up one of your flyers at DerpyCon. Didn't realize you had an, in- had an Insta swag. Following, because why the fuck wouldn't I? What? And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the proper response. Holy cow. And then J.A.R.Art. He just says, amazing, all caps, Thank you so All much. Oh, caps. He does that DBZ fan art, and it's really good. Awesome. Check right. that out, people. Guys, thank you so much. Uh, Kame House Party pod at Gmail. Write us. Mm-hmm. Let us know what up. Uh, Kame House Party on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, at Aaron J. Shelton on Twitter, at Ajax Shelton on Instagram, at V-I-N-T underscore E, Instagram, Twitter, PlayStation Network. You know where to find me. Get at me. Keep fighting!